Don't kill yourself. You have so much to live for. What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today's gonna be a mod update on the Candy Craft mod. I reviewed this one a while ago guys and there was an awesome update. There's new bosses, new items, a lot of cool stuff. And if you want to check out the first part of the review, I'll leave it in the description because we're only going to be covering the brand new stuff. And what this mod does is it adds in a brand new dimension filled with candy. Like seriously, everything here is actually made of candy. The ground, the trees, this wood, all the cool blocks. There's some brand new blocks too in this update. Just figured I'd point that out. There's some like nice decoration stuff to build with. But we are going to get started with some of the items. And the first one is the water mask. To make it, you need sugar crystals and cranfish scale. And you get this scale from like one of the new fish that was added into the mod. But this is very simple, and I look really weird. Actually, I look awesome. Don't be jealous, guys. Don't be jealous of my mask. And what this does, it makes it so you can breathe underwater. And I know it doesn't say like water breathing. It doesn't actually give you a potion effect. But if we switch ourselves into survival here, I can go underwater and pretty much breathe forever. So it can be really helpful. Seems like there's a decent amount of water in this dimension. So it could really help you out if you're exploring around. All right, so the next thing is the jelly boots. And these are made from jelly shock absorbers and sugar crystals like this. And what they do is make it so you take no fall damage. So toss these on. And this item right here is the jump wand. There's no recipe. I think it might drop off one of the bosses. So what you do with it is you actually like hold it. So we're going to hold it like this. And then let go launches you into the air that was like the worst aim ever but you can see i took absolutely no fall damage and whenever you right click on it you're gonna see like the durability goes up but this is actually the cooldown on it so once it goes all the way to the end let go launches you back into the air at least i got back on the platform i had failed so bad i wanted to go straight up and i landed all the way over there and next up guys we'll go over some of the items that the bosses drop so right here is the jelly king's wand it's pretty cool we'll grab his crown too and these are emblems. I'll go over that after. So, if you toss this on, this one's actually a lot cooler looking, and it's not pink. But, it looks kind of cool. It looks weird. It actually looks like I've got some weird orange hair growing out of me. But definitely the wand looks amazing. Alright, so this one. Same thing. It works the same way. You hold it down like this. I think the cooldown's a little bit longer. Let go, and it shoots this beam out. It has, like, an awesome effect to it, too. And I think it does a decent amount of damage. What I should do is grab something to attack. I feel like the Iron Golem is what I always go to. All right, they're very reliable. All right, Iron Golem, don't kill me after I do this. I'm a king, practically. All right, so let go. Six damage. He looks upset. I think he might... Does he have slowness on him? He seems like he's going slower than normal. But yeah, definitely a very cool thing to use right here. And if you decide you want to smack someone with it, it really doesn't do anything. You know, it's just a wand. You can't actually fight close up. Oh, God, he's getting close. All right, he's just staring at me. We're friends. We're friends. Does that hurt? So, guys, I decided to grab all the emblems because I'm not sure how well I actually went over them last time. But this right here is the honey emblem. It allows you to hear voices from the underground. And really, the useful part of that is you can find underground villages. Without it, it's, like, near impossible because, you know, they're underground. How the hell are you going to find it unless you're in a cave or something and it happens to intersect? So, all you have to do is have this in your inventory for it to work. And this one right here reduces arrow damage by 20%. Can be really helpful if you're fighting something that has a bow. And this one reduces fall damage. Can be really useful if you don't have those boots on. But, you know, if you got the boots on, you don't really need it. And this one, every dawn heals you. So I imagine, like, when it's a brand new day, like, your health is going to go up. Or if you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning, you'll be at full health. It could be extremely useful. And you can see right here, it says, get 20 different emblems to begin the end of the world. Sounds really intense, doesn't it? But at the moment, I believe that's a work in progress, as these are the only emblems available right now. But yeah, the mod is actually going in the right direction. It looks like it's getting even better with the new updates. And this right here is the Pez set. The ore is actually made of Pez. How cool is that? And it's better than diamond, too. So you're definitely going to want to make this. And the recipe is the same as normal Minecraft, except with Pez in the recipe. And for the tools, same thing, except you've got a marshmallow stick, which, of course, is the wood from this dimension. So what we're going to do is grab this, because we're going to need it. we got to test out the mobs, guys, and we need some serious armor. So let me take off these boots and this helmet. Not really a helmet, a crown. All right, we'll put it on. And one thing I noticed is the damage for this is 7.4. I don't think I've ever seen a mod that had, like, 0.4 or something like that for weapon damage. So, all right, we're all set. And if you look at it, it's, it's kind of like iron. As you can tell right now. Maybe they'll change the texture or something like that, though. But now, what are we on to next here? 
fish. So yeah, they added in one fish. It's the cranfish. You get scales from it. And of course, you get like cranfish, which you can cook. And I couldn't spawn it in, but let's... Should we just search for one? I saw a bunch before. Let me get night vision so we can see underwater really easy. All right, we'll grab this, guys. Drink it. And I think I see one right now. There's a few fish under here, but they're extremely quick. They've got 10 health. Come here, cranfish. One more hit. There we go. You'd think a fish would die in one hit. Pretty strong fish in this dimension. So we got a cranfish and also cranfish scales. So it's basically food and crafting materials. And I actually tried to fish normally with a fishing rod. It does not catch you, these dudes. You have to go underwater and kill them yourself. So guys, I just realized if you eat the fish, it actually gives you water breathing for like 20 seconds. So definitely another reason to go fishing. And this right here is a brand new liquid into the mod. Sometimes you see it in lakes, but really it doesn't do anything. It's kind of cool looking though. At least it doesn't kill you. But yeah, guys, it is time for the mobs. There's only a few brand new ones. There is the cotton candy spider, the mint jelly, lemon jelly, and strawberry jelly. So we'll get started with the spider, which is a really weird fighting style. It jumps into the air, which actually I think it's hurting itself. Don't kill yourself. You have so much to live for. All right, all right, spider. If, if that's what you want, we can just kill you. All right, so sometimes it actually drops something. I think normally it drops cotton candy, but that time it didn't drop anything. It makes sense though, I mean, it is a cotton candy spider. And this one, is it, oh god, that was painful. All right, that's strawberry jelly. Don't get near it, or that's gonna happen. All right, let's go with the lemon jelly. All right, this one seems a little more calm. It's not hurting me or anything. Couldn't even feel it. All right, and the mint one has a weird fighting style to it, like, you'll see in a second. Look at it, I've never seen a slime jump like that before. It's cool though, ow, god. All right, so that one is is gone too. That's what I get for testing these things in creative. Once I go into survival, they blow up right in my face. But yeah, it's fun to actually get my reactions too. Like first time seeing the mob just blowing up against me. All right, so that's the new mobs. Time for the bosses, guys. There's two brand new ones. The Pez Jelly and the Jelly King. You imagine the Jelly King is probably really tough. So I made a little arena. It's, it's not very good. I made it of obsidian because, you know, they explode and stuff like that. So we will start with the Pez one. He has explosions and he summons alleys. So we will hope for the best, guys. I should actually get some potions real quick. I think I'm ready now. And we're going to spawn in the Pez Jelly. So it's a giant slime with 200 health. We got some good stuff, though. We could take it out, probably. Oh, it's jumping so high. Ow. That my arena, it just wasn't big enough, was it? Please don't knock me in the water. We could definitely take it out, though. This armor is actually really good. But this is nowhere near as strong as the other boss. And if you're wondering, where did these things spawn? They're supposed to be a dungeon, but I just couldn't find one. I searched for way too long. I seriously searched for like 45 minutes to try to find one of the dungeons. I probably couldn't find it because it's underground. But yeah, if you fight this dude, he is going to jump on your face. It's a giant slime. And my, we ended that over here. The reason that I made that was so I didn't blow this area up. All right, so guys, you kind of see how the fighting goes. He's summoning in, like, the little mint jellies and stuff like that. So I'm going to go into creative and finish him off and show you what he drops. So just a couple more hits, and the Pez Jelly is dead. Oh, no, I totally forgot about this. So every time you kill him, he spawns into a smaller version of himself, which means you're going to be fighting for a while. It's kind of like a slime. You know, when you kill one, it goes into, like, four little ones. With this dude, it's just another giant one that's... Slightly less big. So, I'm going to finish this dude off, guys. We'll see how many different forms he has here. So, that one with 180. And now we've got one with 160. You can see this could take a while. It's like a 10-minute fight in survival. So, guys, what it seems to be is they go down 20 health each time. I imagine all the way down to zero. All right. So, we're at 80, 60. And you can see it's getting really tiny now. All right. 40. Look how little it is. It's still a boss. Just barely. The last one. At least I assume so. All right, there we go. So it has dropped, I think, a dungeon key, actually. So, yeah, it dropped a dungeon key. You use this in the dungeons. But definitely a long fight if you fight that thing. In total, it's got to have over a 1,000 health easily. So now, guys, we are on to the king. He causes explosions, throws gumballs, and summons alleys to help him. And this one is even bigger. All right, let's get ready, guys. Jelly King. Look at the size of that dude, 800 health, but luckily he doesn't like come in with 780, then 760. That would take like the rest of your life. And as you can see, he jumps on you, summons in little slimes, and he also like, you know, shoots gumballs at you sometimes. So be very careful when you fight him. This is ridiculous. How do you jump so high? 
And I tried this before. I thought it'd be a good idea, like hitting him with the arrow, but it goes right through him. I imagine it's because he's made of jelly. It, it's got to be. Lemon jelly right in my face. But honestly, if you've got this armor on, it actually protects you pretty good. I'm not taking too much damage at all. And he's got 800 health. So guys, what we're going to do is go into creative and finish him off. And I'll show you what he drops. One really interesting thing is when he takes damage, he actually gets smaller the lower his health is. So he doesn't like become a new slime, but actually decreases in size. Almost got him. Now that is the Jelly King. It's a baby slime. All right, here we go. He's dead, and he also dropped a dungeon key. But yeah, very cool. You got to search around quite a bit, though, if you actually want to find the dungeons. But yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show with the update to this mod. If you want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time for another Minecraft video.